bigger, taller, and faster. The Starship has got it all, and this time it's heavier and ready to soar the sky. SpaceX is right on an adventurous move to blast into space this year, and the first step is giving the Starship a full wet dress rehearsal, or call it a flight preparation test it needs to lift off safely. From the new Raptor engines to the upgraded 33 Raptor 2 engines stacked under the super heavy booster like a set of workhorses to propel the tallest and most powerful rocket ever built. The concept is a major horizon required to make the Starship reach the moon. Stick around as we elaborate more on how SpaceX moved Ship 24 and Booster 7 from their comfort zone, overfilled the fuel tanks with propellant, and conducted a benefiting wet dress rehearsal on the fully stacked Starship. This is one of those magical, tech-savvy videos you won't want to miss as SpaceX went practically crazy to do the unimaginable. Last year, you can imagine how we all witnessed the long-awaited first test flight of NASA's moon-bound SLS rocket. Even though the rocket tank had a glitch, yet still sailed up. We were happy NASA showed the best to the world. The good news is, this year, it's now SpaceX's time to conquer space and perform more actions at the launch pad in Starbase. All the while, SpaceX has been moving from one testing to another. It was around May last year that the company did an ambient-proof test on the Starship to ensure that the rocket and all the plumbings were structurally sound and fluid pipes are well sealed without leakage. And SpaceX continues to render sophisticated upgrades to Booster 7 and Ship 24. And they were certain that the skyscraper-looking rocket can withstand what's coming. Only a few rockets attach the kind of curiosity and prestige SpaceX behemoth Starship does and the most incredible company in the world loaded Ship 24 and Booster 7 with propellant, filling both rockets' tanks to the brim. This actually happened last month on Monday, January 23rd. After hours of conditioning the Starbase, Texas Orbital Launch Site's giant tank farm, the company opened the floodgates and loaded Ship 24 and Booster 7 with approximately 10.7 million pounds of cryogenic liquid oxygen and liquid methane propellant in about 90 minutes. Once fully loaded, the combined weight of the rocket and propellant likely exceeded 500 tons, that is almost 11 million pounds, making Starship the heaviest rocket in history. However, the Starship will need a great deal of thrust to get into space with a weight like this. But you wouldn't believe it that this was the first time SpaceX has fully integrated the Starship and the booster and fully loaded full tank fuel capacity. SpaceX did not hold or slow down operations during the wet dress rehearsal. The process continued for several hours and no damages were noticed in the process, indicating that the rocket systems were all working well enough together to smoothly complete it on the first try. The only shocking behavior visible during the multi-hour test came shortly after Starship was topped off. Booster 7 opened one of its methane gas tanks to relieve pressure, which appeared to vent liquid methane at the top of the booster and under the launch mount, producing a flammable thick cloud thousands of feet long. Well, the cause of the propellant cloud is likely that the Super Heavy was overfilled, and the liquid vent was an intentional response to that error. Thank goodness there was no sparks reaching the methane cloud, or else the Starbase would have entertained a disastrous explosion in a matter of seconds. SpaceX went on to make an amiable tweet on Twitter that reads, Starship completed its first full flight wet dress rehearsal at Starbase today. This was the first time an integrated ship and booster were fully loaded with more than 10 million pounds of propellant. And the same day, the company also completed the complex test associated with that milestone without running into any major issue. Although you wouldn't argue that SpaceX is always hell-bent on building, testing, and learning from minimal viable product prototypes as quickly as possible, even if failures were guaranteed, so that the company's product procedures, they stuck to it and it worked out as intended. However, in any testing, SpaceX always has its mind that failure is imminent, and even though any forthcoming failure will be a lesson, they always have another prototype ready to carry the torch forward. The wet dress rehearsal was somehow a miracle because Starship prototype rarely completed ground or flight tests on the first try, as they always encounter flops on every test, and they were even wary of fear, perhaps something may go wrong. Though safety engines were ready to seize any catastrophic situation, just in case the bad side of the coin is flipped. There is a slight chance SpaceX simply got lucky on this one, but Starship's first fully assembled wet dress rehearsal indicates that the caution has paid off. Though the company still has a lot of work to do, first is to prepare Ship 24 and Booster 7 for first orbital launch attempt. Booster 7 must still complete one or several more static fires, during which it could become the most powerful rocket ever tested on planet Earth.
To reduce risk during static flight tests, SpaceX will likely remove Ship 24 while testing Super Heavy and reassemble both rockets again only if Booster 7 passes its test. SpaceX also needs to repair the pad after static fire tests because, as always, the launch mount always has its normal issues. That is, the launch mount and base are usually shattered by the heavy, stormy blast of the 33 Raptor 2 engines, indicating that these Raptor engines are so powerful that SpaceX is still wrapping its head around a viable means to aid it to withstand the Booster 7 downward thrust. Trust the company's engineers are superb, and let's watch as they amaze us with a lasting solution. The company later confirmed that the test was a full flight-like wet dress rehearsal, and data gathered from it would help verify a launch countdown sequence, as well as the performance of Starship and the orbital launch operations. And don't forget too quickly that in rocket technology, a wet dress rehearsal is used to fully load up a rocket with propellant and oxidizer to ensure that all its fueling systems match designed requirements. While most of the attention during a rocket launch is focused on liftoff, pre-launch operations start hours before. These include fueling the vehicle and testing the ground system equipment, especially pipes and nozzles for leaks and other possible faults. The company has flaunt several photographs of Starship on the pad at Starbase since its successful wet dress rehearsal was reported this month. And from all corners of SpaceX fans, it was set to raise $750 million in funding all round, and that values SpaceX at $137 billion. Meaning, if the fully stacked Starship finally lifts off into orbit, as we all are expecting soon, SpaceX fans and investors will donate close to a billion dollars to support the hard work Elon Musk has been consistently doing over the years. What will now be the next step for SpaceX after this Wednesday dress rehearsal? Let's find out. The foreseen next step will likely include static fire testing of the booster's rockets engine. Well, it's referred to as static test because the booster base will not be lifted from the launch mount, that it will be static on the launch mount. The 33 Raptor 2 engines will only fire, perhaps to their full thrust potential as clamps on the launch mount hold the booster down. And again, if all goes as planned, the fully stacked Starship orbital test flight could come as soon as March. Space and terrestrial body researchers have got a special interest in this particular wet dress rehearsal. For instance, Jordan Bim, a historian at the University of Chicago who focuses on space technology and exploration out of overwhelming joy, said that, if you want to use the rocket metaphor, the fueling stage is over. A lot just happened and now it's time to see who has orbital velocity among the smaller startups. Also, Namrata Goswami, an independent scholar and consultant specializing in space policy, vibrated his thoughts yesterday. A successful Starship orbital flight would be critical to the growth of the space economy. Meanwhile, SpaceX continues construction of rocket facilities at the Kennedy Space Center in Florida on an integration launch tower nearly identical to the one at Boca Chica. Now this is for you. If prominent researchers have got a lot more adorable praises for the Starship's wet dress rehearsal, what do you have to say? You also need to know the wait is over for SpaceX Starship's first orbital launch attempt, so everything seems to be going well. Click on the video to know more about this.